What are the three main things that you look for in an on-trail performance sled? I know for me, it's power, suspension, and rideability. And for today's test ride, the 2011 MXZ TNT 800 E-Tech scores high in all three. Available in seven motor variations, I'll be focusing specifically on the limited availability, spring brake only 800 E-Tech powered TNT MXZ. In the power department, this engine has been an incredible hit. If you tried to buy one this season, you found 800 E-Tech sold out across North America before dealers could even get them out of their crates. The 800 E-Tech returns for 2011 every bit as potent as last year's. Now, while some buyers are a little standoffish as to the long-term durability of this hugely advanced motor, we haven't seen or heard of any issues. Quick and easy to start on even the coldest days, virtually smokeless while delivering legendary gas mileage and oil-sipping demeanor, the 800 E-Tech is at the top of the Big Bore 800 Twin category, hands down. Voice coil injection allows E-Tech buyers to not only enjoy the best two-stroke performance in the biz, but also to be good environmental stewards with the greenest two-stroke motor known to man. In the suspension department, the TNT acronym has been used across the Skidoo lineup as a better than base model type of handle, and in some respects, suffers from a little bit of an identity crisis. First year XP's branded TNT were stiff riding, targeted specifically at ditch banging buyers, demanding the lightest weight sled possible. For 2011, the TNT is your only choice if you want an in-season MXZ with an 800 E-Tech. In model year 2011, the TNT is no longer focused solely on ditch bangers, but takes aim at hardcore trail riding enthusiasts looking for all-round comfort and compliance. The TNT's shock package is far from base, featuring aluminum-bodied KYB take-apart shocks, but they only have spring preload adjustability. Despite this, they offer a great range of rider comfort and the option to rebuild and revalve. While 9 inches up front and 15 inches in the rear looks exceptionally good on paper, the truth is Skidoo's SC5 rear suspension truly is a winner on snow. Linked with a taller, more plush seat and deep running boards, your legs can be comfortably bent, creating an aggressive yet sustainable rider position that reduces impact on your mid and lower back while allowing you to ride more miles more comfortably. The next category is rideability, and by this I mean the rider's ability to comfortably and confidently control the sled over a wide variety of conditions. The XP chassis is super stiff, hugely rider forward, and features an ultra low center of gravity. In other words, this sled rails. The Ergo's and rigid chassis allow you to keep the throttle on, staying confidently in control with both skis on the ground from entry to apex to exit. For those riders that like a little inside ski lift and a slight amount of push in the corners, this probably isn't going to be your ride. The TNT, and all XPs for that matter, are teaching riders a new way of attacking apexes. And I don't mean Yamahas. Smaller riders, women, or bigger guys are all finding the TNT truly is dynamite. While it does suffer from a somewhat weak front bulkhead that can be bent too easily when hit, the overall benefits of the XP chassis outweigh the durability issues some riders have experienced. Taking time to set up your suspension always produces a better ride, and some snowmobiles like the Rush require you to set up your suspension for it to ride even close to properly. But the 800 TNT offers a broader range of rider comfort with minimal suspension adjustment. The SC5 rear skid linked with the XP's rider forward ergos means the rear arm shock which typically does most of the work in bumps, is now under less pressure. When you encounter a section of trail in need of grooming, you can maintain consistent and higher speeds through the whoops. This is the result of being positioned closer to the middle of the chassis. The positioning allows the sled to spread impacts and loads more evenly between the front suspension, the front arm shock, and the rear arm shock. The middle of the sled is thus more isolated from impacts, and the shocks split up the loads evenly. Adding to the rider comfort of our TNT is this standard 15-inch windshield with these cool hand deflectors. Now this is a far cry from the old bug deflector that we used to get and those flimsy hand guards. TNTs are no longer solely about ultra light weight. TNT has evolved into a more refined, purpose-built, trail shredding snowmobile. This targeted positioning is clearly keeping in-season Skidoo buyers happier returning for more of the revolutionary XP's precision handling, exceptional performance, and extreme technology.
Well, I'm risking lots of off-brand riders sending me nasty emails about how I'm pro skidoo. Let me tell you this, I'm guilty as charged. But before you hit that send button, think about one thing. What manufacturer's in number one?